In this application, we're going to look at using the Acuity AR700-4, and here you can see I've got it uh, just easily mounted, just clamped it, probably not the best mounting surface, but I've got it mounted, and we're looking down here at the um, at the spot, and here, and let me, let me show you, you can see this spot a little brighter when I block it. Uh, basically, with this model, it measures from 3 inches to 7 inches from the face of the laser. It has a resolution of 2 ten thousandths of an inch, and it'll be accurate, worst case, to plus or minus 1.2 thousandths. And here you can see we've got our little Acuity demo software set up. Um, and what we're going to do right here, I've got it measured in inches, and as you can see, they're very stable numbers. I mean, we're saying that we're two-tenths, but here you can see we are holding uh, much better than two-tenths. So let's go ahead and we're going to zero. So we've zeroed the laser out on the surface, and I've got a, a half-inch Mitutoyo white ceramic gauge block, and let's see how accurate we are. So we're well within... You know, we're two or ten thousandths off on an accuracy basis, right? So uh, still very accurate. And so what we're going to do in this application, we're, we're looking at uh, performing some measurements on a, it looks like a foam material. And here's a, the first foam with a very dense uh, material, very, you know, very good for a laser type surface. I'm showing that, you know, typically about 0.262. I think I hand biked it out at about 0.259. Um, and as, as you can see, as I move that around, we're, we're doing pretty well. I mean, there's a, there's a little curvature in the table, of course, and a little curvature in the, in the product itself. But using a dual opposed method, right, a laser on the top and laser on the bottom, we should be able to make a very good measurement. On, on the next surface, which is more of a porous surface, um, it's about the same thickness when I mic it, but as you can see, we, we are down in, and let me see if I can show you, get a better, much more porous, porous surface, and as we're on this, as, as I, you know, gently move it, you can see we're getting a lot bigger variations. So that's probably, maybe in the past, some problems where this is roughly a 70 to 100 micron, or called a 4,000 inch spot. And it's, and it's getting down in there. And as you can see, uh, I'm not sure you can see it on this video, but the light hits it and creates a big diffusion uh, spot. So, prop, you, know, we very, you know, typically you would need some software to look at this surface as it goes by and pick up what we call the max peak height to eliminate some of these smaller features. Let me see if I can find one. Right, like there, 0.245. That's a good 10 thousandths off, I would, I would estimate. So now let's go ahead and look at a different approach, uh, possibly, to doing this. Look at. This is the Acuity APA 20-80 that I've got set up here. And so that, that means that we have an 80 millimeter depth of field. And as you can see on the target here, we are creating a laser line of 60 millimeters at the near end, excuse me, 40 millimeters at the near end, or about 1.6 inches, and at the far end is 55 millimeters, which is about roughly 2.2 inches. So, so this model has a resolution, or I should say a linearity, of about plus or minus better than two thousandths of an inch in the Z, and in the X, or the length of the laser, we're, we're going to be taking a data point every to every uh, 2.2 thou, excuse me, every 3.2 thousandths of an inch, or every 81 uh, microns. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at the laser line itself. And you know, probably one of the big advantages is we are putting 580 points across here. I don't have it exactly level to the table, but you can get a pretty good idea as I zoom up on that table surface. And here, each of these is roughly half a millimeter, or this is a 20 thousandths grid. And if I blow that up a little bit more, this is 0.2 millimeters. So 200 microns. So it gives you an idea of the actual resolution of the sensor. And so if we, uh, once again, look at 
Here's the very dense target. You're going to see that we're getting a very good laser line. And so that's what that surface looks like. Very good surface. Uh, as you can see, as we zoom it up, once again, each of these squares is a millimeter. Now we're at half a millimeter. Um, very good target. Very good surface. Now if we come through and we look at the next very porous material, let's go ahead and zoom out. As you can see, a little noisier, but not nearly as bad. And here's every millimeter, every 40 thousandths of an inch. Not nearly as bad as the single spot because we have a, a larger line that we're diffusing over. So typically, just as an example of how we would make this measurement, we end up, do have tools in here. And let's just shrink this down a little bit so we can see some of the tools that we've got. So in this case, this is the porous material again. If we want it to come in, we can come in and let's create an offset. So there's the, here's the table here and this is the surface. I have a little artifact here, but this is how, this is why a laser line would come in handy as far as if we wanted to do some feature measuring what we call feature measurements and we wanted to look at this feature which is the laser line and then if we had a home position once again here and let's go and we're, we're going to set this up real quick very easy to do we want to measure not the width but the height between these two and so we're averaging all these different sections over here so it it doesn't look at that uh, little artifact we've got up here and once again we're right at 6.64 millimeters which is uh, very close without doing any um, linearization or offset measurements as you can see we're take, we're making a very good measurement with a laser line so a couple different ways to do it you can uh, do it with a single spot but from our experience there seems to be more errors on that single spot because of it's not it does not has a a uh, diffuse a laser line which as you can see getting much less noise across here and we can internally average that uh, probably also possible to take that average and do instead of just a standard averaging uh, more of a max peak height where you would disregard some of these low spots here and just pick up more of the peaks. But just a quick example of some of the tools we have at Acuity Laser to make a online or static thickness measurement.